The transform top is good for two things. First, moving stuff around and creating patterns. So let's have a look at moving stuff around. If we preview what we've done here, I got a um, gray background in a rectangle and that is piped into a transform top. So the transform top can do everything the um, rectangle top can do too. You can translate it in X and Y direction. You can rotate your objects or what's coming into the transform top. You can scale it and you can grow and shrink it. But there's also a pivot um, parameter where you can set the pin from where you rotate and scale um, your input. Um, now this is set to um, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, meaning that we rotate from the middle of our canvas. Um, if we set this, for example, um, the first one is x direction, um, if we set it to um, 0 0.25, um, you notice that you can rotate it from the left, and if we set this down to 0 0.4, um, we can um, grab it from one um, angle. I think that's not perfect. I think it's 0 0.35. Oh, not really. So you can figure this out so you can grab one um, edge of your object. Um, the second thing you can do is create patterns. For this, I will set this to a square 0 0.6, 0 0.6. Make it transparent and make a border. And if you now go into the transform top and go to tile, um, you see that there is some um, extend parameter. It's basically uh, per default it's set to zero. And if we set this to repeat, for example, nothing will happen because you first have to scale your input down, um, for example, to 0 0.2 by 0 0.2 and now you're getting a pattern. And that's pretty cool. And uh, if you now would, uh, for example, rotate it, everything would rotate the exact same way. Yeah, you can do all sort of fun stuff. For example, if we set this to one by one and um, don't rotate it, and we are basically getting a grid where you can set um, the border um, type to something light, and if we go um, down to 0 0.1 and 0 0.1, um, we're getting a really nice um, yeah, grid. Yep, that's it for the transform top.